Today, I made a super cool bonfire chair from a single piece of wood. But on your tools, guys, it's time for make or break. Hey guys, welcome back to Make or Break. I'm Rob. Sarah can't be here today, but I am, and I made something super, super cool out of a single piece of wood. Here's how it went. Living out in the country, we have a lot of bonfires. We have a few stumps we sit on occasionally, but they're not that comfortable. While flipping through Pinterest, Sarah and I found this awesome outdoor chair for fire pits, but it was $350, and I figured we could make our own out of a single $20 piece of 2x12 pine. But first, I'd kind of have to figure out the math. I actually built this little model out of scrap to help me understand how it might go together, and then jumped into SketchUp where I came up with this. Now the outside legs are at an angle. What I didn't realize was that the angle happened naturally when you recline the seat into position. So essentially there are zero beveled edges in this design. So we could cut it all with just our heart circular saw without a problem. With my design in hand, I headed down to the shop, grabbed my two x 12 and started marking the pieces. I used a few spare pieces of foam insulation to support the board and it didn't matter if I cut through it. Highly recommend you keep a few pieces of this under your workbench. Then I got started making cuts. Easy as pie. Now the seat, the legs, and the back support all have angles, either 25 or 15 degrees. To mark those, I simply used my square to rotate from my cutting point until the edge of the board lined up with the desired degree. This is incredibly easy, but you also want to be careful to be as accurate as you can so the pieces go together in the end. And then it was more cutting and more cutting and more cutting. The back support was a little more complex, but with a steady hand and some patience, I was easily able to cut it out. Now I decided to use pocket holes to hold it together, which were great for the seat, but not so much for the back support. I'll show you that in just a moment. I attached the back of the seat with three long construction screws and that felt pretty secure. Next, I measured out the location of my back support and screwed it into the back. I then marked the side pieces and made sure they were identical so the seat would sit level. Then I screwed them all together. This is where I realized the error of my ways. I didn't really have room to get a drill inside the chair to attach that little back support, so I left it unattached for now. I set the whole thing on the floor to test it out and it was pretty amazing. Without the back support screwed in, it creaked a little bit, but I had a plan to fix that. Knowing it all worked, I took it apart, rounded some edges, sanded it a ton, and set it up for finish. I decided to use some Thompson's water seal I had left over from a previous outdoor project, and that ended up not only being functional, but left this pine a pretty reddish color that looks a little bit like cedar. When it was dry, I carefully reassembled it, and this time around, I secured the back support with a pair of screws from the outside. Now, it's not ideal, but it still looked okay. Then, just as the snow started falling, I headed out to the pit made a quick fire with some scraps, and tried out the fire pit throne. This turned out so much better than I actually thought it would. It's comfortable, it puts you right next to the fire, and being that low means less smoke in your face, and it's perfect for cooking hot dogs. Now, I just need three more, but instead of spending $350 each, I can grab another $20 piece of wood and make it myself. I'll be sure to share the SketchUp file in the description in case you want to make one too. Okay, I don't know if you guys noticed those last couple of shots where I'm sitting outside, but I just came in from shooting those. We're in central Ohio where there's a mega storm coming. It is beautiful and snowing. I'll tell you what, I do a lot of bonfires out here and I love sitting next to them when it's cold out and it's even better when it's snowing. That chair has worked perfectly. I hope you guys make one too. As soon as we're done here, I've got to go make three more so the rest of my family can join me. That's gonna be it for this week. I wanna thank Heart for sponsoring this episode and reminding us that we can build anything we can imagine if we do it with Heart. All right guys, break's over, go make something.